I'd like to call this ordinance committee meeting to order Tuesday, March 29th, 2016 at 6 o'clock p.m. Uh, members from the committee are myself and Councilman Myers. Mr. Spotman is absent and excused. All other members of council are present. Uh, from the administration, we have Mayor Morley, Chief Whittington. We have Catherine and Catherine, you spell your last name? K-O-L-K. K-O-L-K. Mm -hmm. uh, filling in for um, Carol Ann. Uh, we have our law director, Mr. Clammer, and our police chief, Larry Wright. We have one item on the agenda this evening, and this is a communication that was presented to us by Chief Whittington, uh, proposed to discuss the deviations to permitting and to restrict certain items and procedures in public events. I'll turn the floor over to Chief Whittington. Thank you, sir. Um, so, as we were moving closer and working with with the chief, police chief and the mayor, uh, we, we We've done, I've done a little bit of research in, in past uh, the conventions. I, I, I realize and understand clearly that the convention is in Cleveland, and really the reach of that um, is, is really unknown at this point. Uh, however, I know uh, the mayor's been pretty aggressive in trying to get some events at, at the stadium. So we've really tried to, because of that fact, we've really tried to ramp up um, you know, preparedness. Um, you know, again, everyone knows that we're going to have a big drill coming up here. So the one thing that do some research and looking at uh, different things as far as past after action reports from, from either the DNCs or the RNCs. The one thing I came across often was uh, was dealing with protesters. And as, as we all probably watch TV, you know, there, the realization that, the, that there's a divide, uh, actually probably between both parties, and then with, 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 with the Trump and, and, and actually them starting to pay protesters, I'm not sure what we're going to have. If we get an event down there, I, I guess that, you know. So th what this legislation is proposed, it gives the mayor the ability to declare an event extraordinary. Um, again, it was defined in there as far as the definitions goes. And then it gives the police chief the ability to restrict items that may normally be uh, allowed to be permitted into public events uh, or, or around public events um, so that, you know, they can't be used in, 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 in an avenue of protest. So again, this is this the legislation's proposed is actually plagiarized, and I actually got it specifically out of uh, Charlotte, uh, uh, North Carolina, and that was theirs. So that was really you know the, the driving force was it is, is to kind of give us that ability. Now now the, the RNC has been declared one of those national secu special security events, which again then starts homeland security type thing. So we'll actually when as Cleveland prepares, they're getting lots of money. It becomes a federal deal. So I think by that declaration, anything that reaches out to, to, to these communities that are suburbs, I think we have an obligation to prepare for those federal events. And so we'll, we'll, we, we, we're going to develop daily IEPs, incident action plans. So this is really, again, in my mind, was just give the mayor and the police chief um, you know, some abilities to maybe try to regulate some things that maybe we would not normally look at. And again, I'm not sure. This may just be... A uh, piece of legislation that gets passed that we never actually have to, to utilize. But I think that the mayor's starting to get permit requests to keep, you know, I think we have two in the city to keep bars <coughs> open later. So we're going to have more people on the street. So I, again, it, it, that was just my opinion. I ran it through the police chief. You know, he made some suggestions. I showed the mayor. He made some suggestions. So I think what you see represented is just something we thought maybe would be useful and, and, and if we actually do get protesters. So I guess I'll be open up. Any thoughts or questions on, you know, or think that the mayor or chief work have anything to add? Well, the only thing I have to add, I did see the, I did send you guys the email today. We had two uh, businesses that applied for the 4 a.m. I talked to the state liquor board this morning. Uh, we okayed the two businesses. They are the captains and two bucks. Uh, talking to two bucks owner, they may not stay open till four. Uh, the state is not charging any extra fee for this, so. He applied. Uh, the only event scheduled so far is at the stadium. This is the night of the nomination. The Lake County uh, Republican Party has uh, rented out the uh, stadium for that night. Uh, they're going to have different events. Uh, I'll get you that once it's the draft and all that. I'll send those out. But at this point in time, you know, I agree with the chief. We have to ha be able to. In case there are any issues, in case there's anyone that decides to come here from downtown uh, with the protesting, uh, we need to be able to, to make some uh, decisions. Uh, 
you know, obviously, as you guys know, I will always work with both chiefs when it comes time if we have to make those calls. So that's what I have from my perspective. Mr. Palmer? I was just going to say, I would move it over between the 509 as opposed to the 501. That's like we go over the comment section. But we probably should have a penalty. Um, so I would, I would say to uh, Tracy to replicate 509. 16 I in references the penalty for a violation shall be a minor misdemeanor unless you want it to be more significant. I'll go with whatever you and the chief think. Well, the only other thought would be make an unclassified misdemeanor that keeps the fines generally the same, but it doesn't uh, provide right, for the council, yeah. the council. That's fine with me too. I'm trying to find an example for them. Oh, Tracy, hopefully you got that. An unclassified misdemeanor, so a fine of $10,000. Yeah. The thing is, some of the things around there were pretty, you know, obvious. You know, we don't want people bringing in bar chains and stuff like that. But uh, again, the drones was an added on we saw. We don't want people flying drones around, you know. And, and I think there's some of them are obvious, but some of them, again, de depending on what's happening, might have been a tolerated thing at one time. And I just think that, again, I just would hate to see us you know, put ourselves in a jackpot by allowing some of this to get pushed through. So, do we have? I sent a quick email this afternoon. Do we have no firearm signs at the stadium? Yeah. Yes. We already have. Mm -hmm. But that's yeah. yeah. Mayor, and also the extend hours for <coughs> the two establishments. I believe it was just from the 17th through the 21st, 21st of mm -hmm. July. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Any other questions from council or the administration? Um, can we? I'm just looking at this. Um, Number uh, four one. This talks about a bar chain shop staff cable wire wipe. Can we add a rock in there? I mean, I know that we've just copied this from another. I did hear. What, I did hear. A rock. I thought like because we have to do a lot of damage with rocks. Which was was that under? That's under uh, section D four one. Okay. And I thought she should add rock. And yep. then other Absolutely. question was number five. It's in the same area. A backpack. I mean, duffel bag, satchel, coolers. Are we going to have some sort of notification to people that those are not permitted? Well, a lot of that depends on the stadium and how they run it that day. I mean, okay. they they provide the restrictions okay. as far as what you can and cannot take okay. into any event, whether it's done at Progressive Field or Captain Stadium. And they're they're not even replicated amongst Major League Baseball, so everyone has kind of different. I think that if the mayor declares it an extraordinary event, he can have anybody that is part of that refer to the ordinance on, on, on you know, on our website to say refer to ordinance 509, whatever the case may be, for any guidelines as far as extraordinary events go. I mean, that would be a thought. Okay. And then the only, number 11, a mask or scarf um, to conceal one's identity. Do we want to put in there something unless it's for religious purposes? I mean, we, that's, um, not that, I mean, I'm, well, we can always. I mean, think there's people who wear them um, that you know what I'm talking the about. The Yeah, because we had the case over in Menor. Yeah, the knife. Well, we yeah. The, the, the yeah. cheeks, unless it's for religious purposes. Well, I think we. The have. discretion could always be used, regardless. My, mm -hmm. my concern, I guess, would be putting that in there. Somebody wanting to defeat that. You know, my religious. I'm a Wicca, or you know, whatever. And the inability to research any type of. I mean, the only religion most of us know of that would would be Muslim or some type of Hindu or, you know, but I'm not versed enough in other religions to know what, it, yeah. Well, I, I think it's, we can leave it more broad. I'm well, I think you're covered the there, uh, Madam Council President, in 5-2 to defend and possess that object for that legitimate use. Okay. Okay, that's cool. All right, and then yeah. I was just, I just was curious, a police scanner, what is, how would they even know? I mean, I know you can get them on your cell phone, mm -hmm. the apps for them and stuff, but that would just, you guys would just. Well, I, and I'm assuming we'll be using some tech channels and stuff like that. If you go to a, a tactical channel, it, it won't be picked okay, up like that. And that's something probably, again, just <coughs> off the replication of it is better to have it in there. And okay. You know, the difficulty will be on us to try to find it rather than find it and then not have it represented in the ordinance. Okay. 
Yeah, those police scans would be uh, encrypted, so they wouldn't be part of a, of a scan system. So. Okay. Okay. Mayor rocks are covered under 13 rocks, bottles, objects, bricks. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Okay. You know what else I'm thinking too? Do we, cool. do we want to put in B that you'll declare it by notice on the city website? Um, no. You guys are going to provide notice of it. Yeah, we can do website. Facebook, please waste the page. Just put in that provide written notice by way of the city. Well, the captains let us put it up on yeah, the board. Yeah, we put it on board. the sign. Their sign, their the electric sign. Yeah. Yeah. Just there should be something in there. Same how we're some people put over. Yeah. Because yeah, people who come here, visitors, they're not going to be Facebook friends for the city or the police right. station. No, they we could. Know. We could have signs made up through service and even post okay. them. At the entrances for the day. I can't imagine any event anywhere is going to allow backpacks. Or, yeah. I mean, it's the conditioning of the American public. We're all oh, yeah. expected to encounter security when we go to a Browns game or right. you know, wherever. I just have one more issue. Number 16, are we really, we're taking down sparklers? <laughs> <laughs> just feel really. <laughs> all right, just thought we'd put it out there. <laughs> We want to, um, would we move this forward or with the correct, um, corrected stuff? Yeah, yeah I think um, we, we have time. So if we want to, Tracy could add the penalty section. <coughs> and we could either review it in council as a whole or we could have another ordinance committee meeting, whatever your preference is. Yeah, so a lot of cities do a lot more in council as a whole. I think we can get it. Okay. If she gets me a word version or a word perfect, then I can. Yeah. Well, and just everybody knows if everything's classified as a. If the penalty section is classified as an unclassified misdemeanor, then the penalty is a thousand dollar fine, and no right to counsel, and, you know, and no, jail time. no jail time. So if they're not arrested; they're just charged, they're just write citations. Yes. So, Mr. Myers, do we move this forward? Yes. Okay, yeah. I agree. Move it forward. Okay. Uh, we have nothing other miscellaneous. Uh, recognition of the public at this time: half hour, three minutes per person. Uh, is there anybody? Who in the public here who wish to speak? Seeing none, then this meeting is adjourned at 6.12 p.m.